What about all of this stuff? These rescue puppies are just a few of the more than 150 currently in the care of Winnipeg Pet Rescue. Last week, the Winnipeg Humane Society seized 137 animals from a property outside of Winnipeg. And founder of Winnipeg Pet Rescue, Carla Martinelli Irvine, says the seizure impacts her shelter too. The Winnipeg Humane Society reaches their capacity and they can no longer take, and that's been for quite a while now. So when their doors are shut, we get more calls. The Humane Society seized close to 700 animals so far in 2024, including more than 100 pulled from three separate incidents. Now advocacy groups and shelters want to see better enforcement in the province. I do think Winnipeg is tighter. Uh, the Manitoba Care Act, it needs strengthening. Winnipeg and the province operate under different animal legislation. Winnipeg has the Responsible Pet Ownership Bylaw and Manitoba has the Animal Care Act. In 2022, the city updated their bylaw and implemented stricter licensing and standards for dog breeders. CEO of Winnipeg Humane Society, Jessica Miller, was a stakeholder during the city's amendments and wants to see the province follow suit. Provincial legislation that mirrors city legislation that cracks down on breeders. They need to have certain permits. They need to have provisions, they need to be limits. The province maintains the Animal Care Act provides protections for all animals and outlines standards of care for owners to follow. Executive Director of Animal Justice, Camille Labchuk, says on paper, Manitoba has strong legislation, but it's not being implemented. Reviewing freedom of information documents that we've received while researching this issue, it's really clear that the reason that this regime was never enforced is because the province wouldn't properly fund what was required for the animal welfare authorities. I really would like to see the province step up, you know, not only to help the Winnipeg Humane Society, but also to help shelters like ours. So there aren't as many puppies in need of care. Mike Arsenault, CBC News, Winnipeg.